Hello, everybody. Okay, Nuka here. Today, we're here to roll on the Persona 5 vision card, changing the world takes art. And, um, possibly rolling a little bit for this guy. Um, yeah, we're seeing his numbers right now. Yeah, this guy, probably the talk about town right now. Asterius. Um, there's probably a good reason why. He's a really powerful unit. Uh, one of the top tier units in JP right now. Uh, even for months from when he's been released. Uh, definitely, he's a he's a really good attacker. That's what he is, right? He has pretty good survivability as well because how kind of durable he is, and he also has guts, which also make him hard to take down. So it's hard to take down, and he hits hard. Uh, you have a water team. You probably want to get him for sure. He's almost a must. Um, but other teams, even for other teams, even if you don't have a water team, he might be a, even a character you still roll for. So he's a really good character, but the problem I have right now is, yeah, the the ways to get him right now are pretty bad. Either you kind of have to spend quite a bit, um, or pity him. But pitying for him isn't that great right now because there's only one way to pity him versus like the past few banners that have been really good ways to pity for characters. Uh, but yeah, um, for sure, I'm gonna pick up this. That's what I did say last week I was gonna kind of aim for. And yeah, if you don't have any paid visual, then I guess you probably have to go with this thing and spend 10k hard. But if you do have paid visual, like I do right now, this is an easy uh, pick for me. I think there was like one vision card in the past, like last month. I don't remember what my card it was, but. Um, I, f I didn't realize I had a paid visual, and I probably should have took the paid visual route when I roll for that card. Is it Omen? It was probably Omen. What? Is it? No, it's already gone. I'm pretty sure it was Omen, but, um... It's a good deal, right? You're pretty much using, uh... You're using 2k paid visual to get the card versus 10k uh, visual, unless you're lucky. For me, this is an easy deal, so I'm gonna just go ahead and grab that. So this is probably not gonna be too eventful. Yeah, I forgot I did have animation off. But I mean this wasn't too eventful in the first place. So what do you expect? Uh, let's see. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and do this. 2k for 5 yards, that's an easy decision for me. Even if it's uh, characters that I have already, mainly because of the stars you gain from it. We good. I think, let's see, what am I looking for? I'm still on the hunt for King Mon. After all these years, I still don't have him. If I get him here, that'd be nice. But, I wouldn't really bet on it. Last one. Huh. Well. Okay. Not, <laughs> not King Mon, but it is another 100 cost premium unit, so I'll take that. Yeah, every time I face Oberon in the field, he has been a troublesome character for my characters to take on. Even if I mainly use a win, a win team against him. Kind of mainly because 2B, her weakness is piercing, so even though she can take him down, uh, pretty, pretty easily, you can take her down as well. 
So if I'm not too careful, that tends to happen. Especially if I don't have Doom. Doom is really good against piercing, so I have Doom. Everything usually goes well. Uh, let's see. What else? What else is actually worth looking? I think I got everything else. So, okay. So, one thing I do want to admit is, yeah, I, last week when I rolled for the Persona characters, I didn't um, get Violet, right? Through the 9 step. But, you know, I've been doing, I've been actually been doing the 1 daily. The 1 daily, kind of similar to the same reason to why I spend uh, paid instead of free visions on the vision card. It's just a good ratio, right? How much you spend paid versus free. And you're probably wondering like whether um why why I'm so like loose with the paid stuff versus the free. It's mainly because when you're trying to pay for a character, you're gonna be ten you're gonna tend to actually use your free vision to do that. So I need to conserve as much of the free visual as much as possible. So I tend to use the paid to pick up more of the guaranteed easy stuff, like the vision cards. I did. And sometimes I used to do these 10 uh, guaranteed summons, but I kind of don't do them anymore. Um, for the paid, they're good if you are still hunting for a certain, like, lots of characters that you want, but if you're just hunting for one, it's kind of not really worth it. So, um, yeah, so I would usually pass most of the these banners right here. But this one up here... Oh, that one. That one's very pricey. Now this one's also very pricey. This one right here, you could technically get him. You technically could get him here, but the problem I have with this one is mainly because of it, he doesn't have a rate right here. But you go down to the five times guaranteed. I think his rate is definitely higher here than if you roll a regular banner. Astros is a 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And then if you go to his normal banner. It's a 0.4 with the rate up. So yeah, he still is higher chance on the paid. Just by a little bit. Oh, so... What I would probably go ahead and do is, um, I am not going to roll for him seriously, but I do want a YOLO roll for him, and that's, like, spending minimal to try to get him. Because if you do get him with the minimal, it's going to feel really good, right? You didn't spend much to get him. Um, yeah, because hitting for him will be very costly and that's something I am not willing to do. That's like 42k pretty much. Let's go ahead and do single YOLO. See if I get like Nope, it's a bronze bug. Yeah, but that's okay. It's going to be heavily reliant on luck when you decide to try to roll well, YOLO for him. You know, if I didn't have Celeste, I kind of got lucky when I got Celeste, then I probably wouldn't even consider him at all. But because I have Celeste, I technically could work with a really strong team. So that's the only reason why I'm even sent to YOLO him for in the first place. So the other thing I could do is, so I did a single YOLO pull, but I could also do a YOLO 10 pull as well. Mainly because there is a decently good option for him somewhere. Where is it? 
Not, oh, it's right here, actually. So, for 300 paid, you get a bunch of stuff you probably don't really need as much. And it's probably not as much, but you do get that one uh, ten pole from here. So I will take that. So you think about it, if I'm a, if I'm willing to do a you know a single single pull for fifty paid, right? That's like fifty well, that's fifty. Fifty for one. This one's literally like thirty for for one, right? But times ten. So that's definitely kind of worth it my eyes if you have the paid visual for it. Okay, so I have that. And this will probably be the last time I try to try pull for him. So I am still probably gonna be grabbing like all his like skill stuff and maybe even his um like daily purchase stuff. Just in guess in case I get him for a future, but I just won't be trying to get him here. If um, his PD options were better, that would have considered it, but is so bad I'm just gonna do the very minimal how to get up. Nope. And it seems like the minimal is not enough. So what I will keep doing right is while his banner still up I will keep on doing the single pulls every day. Yeah but if I don't get him um, by end of the week. That's okay. There'll be other future times to get him. You know he's going to be hard to get either way. But I am in no rush. Because I don't really run water teams right now. So. In the future one day. Just not now. You know. Since I'm already here. Maybe I could do this for fun. Can I? a slightly higher chance. It's five ERs, right? I think... I mean, I still could get King Mont, and I could still get... Chaos Odin, right? More importantly, the Chaos Odin is probably more important for me. Yeah, he is... I think he is in here. Saw him in the normal rates. Yeah, okay. Seems like I can possibly get him here too. You know what? So here's... I'll do this. Just for a chance to maybe get Chaos Odin and... Um... I always forget his name. Asterius. And this is probably the only big whimsical paid visual oh, I'll ever really do. Ever again, probably. Yeah, because most of the time with my paid visuals, I tend to spend more on like the 50 paid stuff. Hey. Okay. Not Chaos Odin. Yes, Odin. Now you're a frost one. Nope. So I'm not getting chaos, Odin. There'll still be one, probably one more good attempt to get him. No asterisk either. Okay. It's fine. Still have my wind, my light team, and my kind of under team. Yeah. I really do I really do feel like I want him, but not that badly. Like the deal here is literally like 42 for him. Like the reason why even I rolled for like a uh, for Esther in the first place was it was literally 40k for two limited vision cards and two characters with Esther being one of them, right? All of that together is about like a hundred K 
uh, amount of visual or value value they were getting from that feel uh, when they came out. Right? I wasn't even like when when Ibarra came out. I literally was like, ah, I can't afford her right now. Um, I would have to pass, right? But when that came again, uh, and the opportunity of a bird came kind of with it, and an Esther came out, it was a no brainer for me. So at least if the water matter does become a thing, I'll be prepared. I have a Barra and I have Esther kind of help me out. There were kind of added in here. I think the kind of get ready to combat against Esther in the first place. So at least. Yeah, when Esther does become very popular, I will have something to be able to use to deal with it. But anyways, um, is that really it for today? I think so. Yeah, if you're still going for Persona stuff, I wish you luck with that. And I guess... If you're going for Esther, you're gonna need a lot of luck. You're very likely to go with Pity to get him. So... Gonna just be prepared for all that you need to spend to get him. If you decide to do that. May the fourth be with you. Anyways, no connect signing out. Bye bye. Hello again. <laughs> I forgot. Probably was gonna pull this banner as well, so I might as well go back in and do this very quick. So yeah, if you have other uh other warriors of the crystals, then you can pick that instead. But the only other character I have is Joom, and she's already maxed out. So if I do get a Asterus in the future, I will be using him versus the other three. So I'll go ahead and pick his. And see how this pull goes. But it's probably gonna be more even more unlikely for him to appear here than other ones I just pulled. That right there is a bad sign already. I mean, I could be wrong. They could upgrade. He could appear. It's just very unlikely. Yeah, nope. Nothing. <laughs> But that's to be expected. Okay, now I am truly done. <laughs> Hopefully this amount of paid vision I have left will be able to hold out with me throughout the whole event. This will at least let me do, yeah, probably enough of his dailies for a while. And then even for Violet, it's even better because I have literally like 27, 27 days of kind of YOLO pulling for her every day. Right over here. So, and even even if I did fail to get them, I could easily convert her uh, of her shards at the very end, or all of her medals at the very end to the Kodos shards. So this is not like all a waste. It's kind of the same thing for for uh, Asterisk. He, yeah, all his medals probably just go to the shards and hopefully if I get in the future then I'll be ready to use them almost right away but yeah again that's just all kind of um, banking on luck playing in or maybe a better banner popping in but yeah again um, may the fourth be with you see you guys later Nickel signing out again Bye-bye.